Uh, I'm Harry Ferguson and I'm Professor of Social Work at the University of Nottingham. Um, delighted to be here at UCLan to contribute to this book group uh, on Olive Stevenson's uh, memoir, Reflections on a Life in Social Work. Um, I think my involvement here is connected to the fact that Olive worked in the department that I'm in in Nottingham for many years and has strong connection had strong connections with the department. Um, so I was lucky enough to have quite a bit to do with Olive and obviously know a lot about her kind of contribution to my department and to social work more generally. What do you think about the use of book groups in social work education? Um, I think the use of book groups in social work education uh, is really innovative. Um, I think, obviously, for several reasons. Um, there's always value, I think, in groups meeting to discuss ideas, theories, whatever you know, is and using books as a focus for doing that um, has can make a huge contribution. Uh, so to, you know, tonight we've looked at Olive Stevenson's memoir, Reflections on a Life in Social Work, and um, so just being there in the group, um, listening to people's perspectives on the text, what they got out of it, um, debating the issues raised by it, you know, is incredibly stimulating, and hopefully it produce, you know, it develops knowledge and awareness. Um, around social work issues, practice, and so on. But I think also it's the, the manner in which this book group at UCLan is connected through social media is incredibly significant. And I think Amanda Taylor and colleagues here at UCLan have developed something here that's truly original and groundbreaking and in the social media age of Twitter and Facebook and so on. We're going to see a lot more of this and uh, it's a real, and I, so I really applaud uh, that achievement that's been, uh, that um, uh, Amanda and colleagues have, uh, have uh, achieved. <laughs> uh, what drew you to support this project? Um, I've been supporting the book group uh, online through Twitter primarily um, as much as I can previous book group meetings I got involved in tweet ups around that um, and you know I think Amanda Taylor is a remarkable person I think she's a real leader she's inspirational um, so she's really managed to inspire me to get involved uh, in this book group and support the project and you know I'm supporting it because I really think that it can make a big contribution um, not only to people who are in the room at the book group discussing the text but to people who are engaging online through social media and so on. What thoughts do you have about tonight's uh, event? Uh, well, having just come out of uh, the book group that's discussed um, Olive Stevenson's memoir, Reflections on a Life in Social Work, I found it a really interesting experience. The discussion was, I think, really lively. It ranged across a whole series of issues from, you know, what is the essence of social work? Um, what was social work like in the past? You know, Olive was in social work for 60 years, so you know we talked a lot about what, how she writes in the book about the kind of social work that she was involved in, um, the kind of organisations that she worked in, um, and we compared that to people's experiences in working in social work organisations today. Uh, we talked a lot about the importance of relationships in social work, social workers having good supervision and so on. Um, there was some despondency around uh, because it's difficult out there, you know, we, we exist in a climate of austerity and cuts, 
Social workers are under pressure with high caseloads. Um, limited support services available now because lots of places are closing down and so on. Um, but I think we also identified some areas for hope and optimism. Um, and, you know, for instance, around the use of self and the really important messages that are in Olive's book about um, how, as social workers, we need social workers need to become skilled at using themselves, um, using theory, knowledge in ways that would engage people, enable them to change, and to really make a difference in people's lives. Um, so I think there was some optimism and some positive things that came out of the night. What is it about fictional books that can create such a lively debate in a room full of budding social workers? Um, well, I guess social work students engage with knowledge in various ways, don't they? You know, journal articles are very, very significant now. I think there's some evidence to suggest that journal articles have become more used and more popular because they're easier to access. Libraries often don't have the resources, you know, where every member of a class can get access to the same book. Um, E-books are changing that, obviously, and making it easier to, for access. But um, so books, you know, books are the lifeblood of universities of learning, and you know, writers can do things in books. They can't do anywhere else. They can't do them, and they can't do it in journal articles. So, in a book, you can develop an argument. Uh, you can take a range of perspectives, and so on. So, um, there's a you know the great value of discussing books is that you can you if you can achieve depth, uh, a depth of learning that you can't get through other kinds of sources, um, and that applies to fiction as well as kind of theory and social work books. You know, fiction is about everyday life, you know, and the complexities of everyday life. And, you know, that's what social work engages with. Um, so that kind of literature can, in, you know, touch the imagination, inspire, promote learning about the human condition and so on, and how, you know, and how people can be helped. Okay. Would you recommend Book Club to other students and 